Alrighty, hello again and welcome back to another video. Thank you for choosing me. It's a great honor. <laughs> Alright, today, um, I posted a video earlier today, around morning, sometime in there. I don't know when it got uploaded because my phone wasn't on me. It was connected to the Wi-Fi at work posting the video. So, anyway, um, on the way to work today, I built a schedule. I mentioned this in my last video, but a daily routine for me to go through. That includes when I wake up, what I do in the time between when I wake up to when I catch the bus, what I do on the bus, what I do on breaks at work, what I do when I get home, and when I go to bed, including when I do everything in those steps. In the morning, that consists of working out, showering, eating breakfast, making lunch, etc. That'll also include poetry. I wasn't able to do that to this morning, but now that I've made this uh, routine, it should work just fine, right? I get my workout in, I get food, I get lunch, I get clean, I get work done. It's, 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 it's easy, right? So I made a blog post about this on my way home from work on the bus. Um, on the way to work, I made the schedule. On the way back, I made the post. After this video is done and I eat my food, I will be building a website to post the blog posts on. So you can find them if you want. I don't have the ability currently to pay for anything, so it'll probably be on like Wix.com or something, or some other kind of blog post site. If you know of any blogging platforms besides Tumblr, let me know. Um, chances are I'll be posting there too. I have been already actually, when I tried to start this earlier. But now I'm alone. I don't have to worry about taking up anyone's time or annoying them, so I'm good. Just, just go to town anywhere. Now, this schedule already has failed. All right, the schedule calls for me to get home at 5.15 so that I can eat food and be done at eating at six. I got home at around 5.30 today, instead of 5.15. It is now 6.30. I've put two loads of laundry in and cooked food. I am way over my schedule. Already, it's, it's half an hour. So right now I'm working on the next step, which is conveniently in this time. Well, it was until 6.30, I think. I don't know, I'd have to check over the numbers again, but that's my routine. I, I get home from work, cook, eat, make a video, make a poem, and while I'm cooking, I break down my blog post into various Instagram, or not Instagram, um, who's in what's it? What's the word again? I've lost my train of thought. Great. Right. As soon as I get home, I cook food, write a poem, make a video, post it all. While I'm cooking, I'm disassembling my blog post to post on Twitter, Facebook, etc. Everywhere. Right. Now, because I'm making one big long blog post every day, or two, depending on whether or not I make a new one on the way to work and on the way back. I probably will end up doing that. I don't know though. Um, but, but, that allows me to write one, one really long thing to post but not only that, it also gives me five, six, seven, eight, twenty 20 different tweets that I can make. 
So now I have, instead of just one tweet every day, I have 20 different tweets, all relating to a similar topic for that day, all correlating to the original blog post, which I could honestly link in the tweets. Now, as for uh, videos, oh, excuse me. Um, as for videos, I can splice these videos, put them on TikTok, and get more content, right? I have been a big fan of Gary Vaynerchuk for a while. Um, I just found out he's coming to Edmonton in about a month after I get laid off, so that'll be about a month and a half from now. Um, well, he comes over on the 26th of March. I get laid off on the 21st, so, of February. Now, that one month, uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, I recently, well, people know I've been looking for a job. Someone pointed out a bakery. Now, I don't bake very often. the only time I really use my oven, I've ever really used my oven, is pizza and chicken. I tried to make ribs once, but that didn't work. So, as for baking, I can measure ingredients really, really well. I can see the line on the cup and fill it to there. I'm good at it. So if, because this uh, bakery was suggested to me and the person who suggested it got a reference, a really good reference as they say out of it, um, I could use them as a reference to get a door or a foot in the door and a door in the foot and a uh, foot in the door and go from there. Now they work 10 hours a day, four days a week. As far as I know, I think there might be the option of a weekend job on top of that, which I would love to take because I'm broke. And, and not only that, but you work your 40 hours, I work my 40 hours here. I work 40 hours there, I will have more money coming in than I do over here because every single hour I work makes an extra about 250 approximately you know how much I could do with 250 an hour like right now I go to work for 15 minutes like if you sit still for 15 minutes it seems like a really long time right I go to work for 15 minutes and I make 15 divided by 4 uh, for a 12, I make $3 and like 33 cents or so. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, it's, no, what, what would I make? 15, 750, 3.75. I make 3.75 every 15 minutes that I'm at work. I'm working my life away. I know that I'm more valuable than this. I know even if I was making 50 bucks an hour, I'd still be more valuable than that. Because I'm only getting paid for what I'm doing now. What I want is to get paid for what I did before. What I what I want is for you know, tomorrow me to be able to look back and think, yeah, I'm making $700 a month off of something I did two years ago. It's crazy to think about, right? So that that's one of the reasons I started this new schedule because now that I have this schedule, I go to work, come home, and I have the time laid out when I get home already. I already know what I'm going to be doing. There's no sitting down and figuring out, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to eat? I already know. The night before, I put it in the fridge so I could cook when I get home. Whatever, right? 
Now, managing my time more productively, more efficiently, it only goes so far, especially in my situation right now, because I have a laptop that is older than me, and it takes five minutes to find out whether or not I clicked a button, right? That's, that's really the biggest downside to it all. However, I suppose I could take it in or just get an, probably just get a new one. What I might do is swing by the eco station or something and see if they have one that they just thrown out. Uh, but, you know, I got a printer. It was free. It seems to work pretty well. However, I do need ink. To get ink, I need to be paid. To be paid, I need to wait until Friday. But once Friday rolls around in the weird way that it always does, it's Wednesday today, that's two days away, it'll feel like 10 minutes in, like, quite honestly, but in the time that it's, that I'm waiting, it'll feel like an eternity. So, uh, once I get started, I'm trying to figure out a lot of this other stuff, I'll keep you posted. And my neighbor's just doing things. Yay. That's the end of the video anyway. <laughs> Alright, so, to recap, if, if you want a recap, if not, just whatever. I'll see you later. Toodles. But if you want a recap, um, manage time, make a schedule for yourself. I didn't mention the most important thing you will fail. Right? Now, I, I thought about stopping the video and starting it over, but this is important stuff. You will fail. Your schedule will fail. Mine failed. I got home later than I planned, and it took me an hour to cook instead of 45 minutes. I'm not even done eating yet, and it's been hour and 15 now. Right? So, you, you get used to failing after a while. Technically, I don't count it as a failure. I don't fail. I suck at everything. Everything I do, I suck at being alive. Everything. I suck. I suck at cooking. How can I get better? Well, try shit. Just do it, right? I suck at making these. How can I get better? Make more. I suck at managing my time. How can I get better? Make something on paper. It's not on stone, it's on paper because life changes. Life happens. You won't keep your fucking goal if you are be all end all this thing. Okay? It has to be something you can let go of. It has to. Now, if you decide, okay, well, I want to spend $300 on food. Currently, I don't have a number set because I have yet to go over my uh, updated uh, payments and everything for all that I have. But uh, my, my food budget, if the carried on from when I was with Holly, will be 150. I know I ate more than she did. I'll have to go to about 200 instead of 300 when I was with her. I also eat better. So whether that's cheaper or more expensive, I don't know. Um, now that she's gone, anyway. Uh, as for some of my hobbies, yes, I smoke weed, but it's, it's, it was always something that I could afford to do. Now, I do still have herb here, but I don't have the money to buy any more, and my current situation demands that I keep as much money as possible, so... These two jars are all I got. Well, 
and this one. But these, this, this stuff is not anything worthwhile. So I can't buy any more weed because of my situation. So I won't be smoking anymore. Whoa. I know so many people, so many families, so many, any, everyone who their situation literally demands that they stop doing something, but they don't for whatever reason. Literally all of their problems could be solved with one thing, but they need to keep doing that thing for some kind of reason, whatever it may be. If it's that important to you, keep it. Maybe cut back on it, but you can still keep it, right? If it is really that important to you, then you have to cut from somewhere else if your situation demands that you cut, right? My situation demands that I cut drastically. So that would include herb, that would include candy, that would include cookies that I have in there, that would include literally anything that I don't need, right? Now I need protein, fruits, vegetables, greens, grains, everything, right? So I have those in places. I've got potatoes too. I should eat those. I have everything I need. Because I have everything I need, the fact that I have $8 now instead of 12 because I had to buy uh, dish sponges because I ran out, um, the fact that I have eight instead of what I usually have a couple hundred at the end of the month, it doesn't affect me that much because I know by the time I get paid, between now and when I get paid, I have nothing to buy. Like, I don't need anything urgently. I have fabric softener. I just noticed that I was running out earlier. It's, it's up there. Right there. <laughs> but it's it's minor like sure yeah i have eight dollars sure yeah i have a week and a half that i'll be working once this friday comes i'll have eleven hundred and eight or so then once next friday comes and i lose my job or i expect to lose my job If I don't lose my job, then I'll have more money. If I do lose my job, then I have, I don't know, I'll, I will have maybe fourteen, fifteen hundred to play around with for bills. Now, as soon as I get paid, I'm going to have to pay about a hundred for my phone, about seventy-five, or no. And I'll have to pay two ten for life insurance because I do have that. Um, yeah, it's it's just a matter of being realistic with yourself. Because I took the time to sit down and do my schedule on paper, I knew what I had or what I what I keep as priorities for me. So anything that wasn't a priority, I just cut from the schedule. Now, instead of coming home, just kind of mulling around for a while and then starting to make dinner, I come home start making dinner, eat, and I'm productive immediately. That is why I decided to do this. Now, as for a budget, I'll make another video about that. Anyway, so when it comes down, what, what it really comes down to is um, life and you are one and the same. Life and paper are not at all in any way shape or form life changes paper changes if you change it paper is kind of stuck right now that's the beauty of it because i made this schedule knowing that life changes while the schedule wouldn't i now know 100 percent that i will fail there is zero chance of success right off the start, which is why it will work. Because once I know 
that I have a 0% success rate, I suck. I can suck less. And to do that, I need to start by sucking. I suck at my time. That is obvious, given my track record, <laughs> right? So now, now that I'm here with this schedule that I made up in my phone, not technically on paper, but the same kind of thing, it's, it's a lot easier to refine it and make it better. And that is what I'm working on. Anyway, that's that's it for today. So I hope you learned something. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, let me know. Let me know what I can change. Let me know what I gotta do different. I wanna help you out by telling my story. Because that's all I really can do is tell my story as it's happening. Anyway, that's everything. Doodles.